Hey YouTube, what is going on? You know what this is. This is K Neither Midnight, whatever you want to call me. This is going to be a quick video overview of 3.1 Android, and this is going to be my initial impressions. I've been using it now for about seven hours. I just got it installed, you know, sometime early this afternoon. Been playing with it off and on while at work and um, while I'm at home. And a couple things I want to bring up as far as uh, things I noticed off off the bat. First thing is the speed. Now, I normally have my zoom overclocked to 1.504 gigahertz. Right now, this is running at a standard 1 gigahertz. Um, no overclocking at all is available for 3.1. And as of right now, the speeds, I would say, are on par, if not better, than overclocked to 1.5 with 3.0. A lot of numbers I threw at you there. Basically, the version right now that I'm running is much faster than the version I had before. So 3.1 did add some speed. As you can see here, I am running a live wallpaper. Now on 3.0, this live wallpaper would have bogged down my system for scrolling and going through apps. As you can see here, scrolling is very, very smooth. It's, I mean, it's not dropping any frames at all. It's very smooth and the background's interactive. It's a beautiful thing. App drawer, boom, right there. Doesn't slow down, go through my apps. No issues at all. Back home, goes back very, very quick. I have not, I have not yet to see it slow down at all. Um, also right here, go to recent applications. You have 17 recent applications versus the four or five or whatever it gave us. So 17, that's huge. That is a big freaking deal. So I'm excited about that. Um, also, I'm excited about the APIs they are releasing, allowing you to plug in controllers into your Zoom. So for example, you can plug in your, you know, your Xbox 360 controller or anything like that, um, which is really, really cool. There's like a lot of things you can do with this uh, with this new device. Like they say you can plug in mice and keyboards and, uh, and things like that. So that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to get my uh, my USB dongle in and that's going to make things really cool. I'm going to make a video with that, of course. Um, also, in the bottom right hand corner where your Wi-Fi is at, it actually has little arrows going up and down if you're downloading or uploading files. Um, doesn't make a huge difference, but you can always see what your, what your internet connection is doing. And that's a really cool thing. That's really the main things that I see. Another thing that you can do, you can actually resize widgets, any widget that is compatible. Now, what, what they're saying at the, at, the, uh, at the Google conference, they're saying that you can actually do this by adding one line of code to any existing application. So for example, if you are an application developer, you add this one line, this one predefined line to your code, you are good to go and it actually adds the, it adds the, the element in there without doing anything else. Really cool. So enough talking. Let me actually show you one. Let's go to email. I don't have an email. That's not a good idea. But I can do this, hold it down, and I can just stretch it out, and I can make it wide as well. Really cool. Really, really cool because you can configure your uh, your home screen to how, make it look however you want. I mean, if you want to have one page just, you know, for email, you can do that. You can essentially do that, which is really, really cool. Um, you can, you know, take advantage of this huge screen real estate. All right, so for example, right here, I have uh, my bookmarks, kind of you can see six at a time. I have my calendar squished down a little bit, but a little bit longer. And I have my inbox, which, um, you know, pretty good size. I can read about half the email, which is really, really cool. So as far as that, that's about it on this aspect. Now, what they're also saying is that the browser is redefined. They said the browser works better. In my experience with the browser, it seems to be pretty much the same. Um, I've actually had a couple forced closes on the browser, which I normally do not have. Here's the here's the quick controls right now. I don't like them. I actually am old fashioned, and uh, you can just you can just go through your tabs right here. It seems pretty cool, I guess, but it's, it's not for me. So I'm not the best person to talk about it. However, let's go out to ESPN.com really quick. Also, when you're scrolling through a web page, they said that instead of it being choppy, you have these white blocks here, and some people don't like it. Some people do like it. Uh, I don't care. The white blocks show up when it, when it can't render the page fully. A lot of pages that are very um, flash oriented or has like a lot of images, they'll do the white boxes. But it's very quick and the page loads very, very fast. So it's not a huge deal. Um, some people are going to complain about that. Not sure why they changed it because I liked it the way it was. But to me, it's not a big deal at all. So, you know, with 3.1, that's, that's the big deal. I mean, uh, just the, the speed is really cool and uh, once I dig into all the APIs as far as uh, uh, the USB things it's gonna be really nice they said you can plug in your your digital camera right into the zoom and upload the pictures from there I want to see how that works so I'm really excited 
about getting my, my, my little micro USB um, in. And that's going to be really cool. And that's going to be the true test of how cool this really is. So once I get that device, I'm going to go ahead and do another video, a more in-depth video of what's going on. But this is just a overview of 3.1, which will be hitting your device within the next couple of weeks, hopefully soon. Um, also, if you guys want to install it early, um, I will provide a link right here in this video. And um, you can guys go ahead and do that. Uh, the, the install, if you're familiar with ADB commands, it shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to do. However, you do run a risk of bricking your device, as always. And I am not held responsible, and you can't blame me nor sue me because I have no money. So, that's about it, guys. Um, anything else, leave a comment, let me know. Anything you want me to go over, let me know. However, this is just my quick overview of me having this for about six or seven hours on the newest version. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing I'd like to add. The screen seems to be brighter. That could just be me, you know, wanting it to be everything in a bag of chips. However, it seems to be brighter to me. Not sure if they tweaked a little setting or what, or I'm just on crack. I don't know. But brightness seems to be brighter. That's it. All right, guys. Have yourself a great night. And um, the Heat just beat the Celtics. A little upset about that. Anyways, talk to you guys later. See ya.